Rugby League heavyweights come to Canberra as the Super League battle goes on. A five-year-old abandoned at a school bus stop, his mum's furious. And British comedian Kenny Everett succumbs to the AIDS virus. Good evening. The Australian Rugby League took to the skies today to try and woo breakaway clubs from the rival Super League. League Supremos join James Packer in a private jet which touched down first in Canberra while ARL Chiefs conducted a very organised press conference in Sydney. Players loyal to the ARL became weapons in a propaganda war today. The league parading stars before the cameras in a media conference hosted by Channel 9. We decided it was best for us and best for our club and you know, best for our futures to stay with the ARL. Kerry Packer has reportedly dedicated $28 million to the rescue of the ARL. League chairman Ken Arthurson was keeping a straight face when insisting the sport was not the property of any one individual. This game of rugby league doesn't belong to the, uh, to the Rupert Packers or Ken Arthurson or anybody else in this world. But Hang Paul Vorton left little doubt over Channel 9's influence this morning with this reply to a question from News Limited's Piers Ackerman. Fat heap of shit. But away from the razzle-dazzle at ARL headquarters, the real battle was being fought in Canberra. Channel 9's James Packer, Australian coach Bob Fulton, and ARL chief executive John Quayle flying in to twist the arm of Raider Ricky Stewart. Already committed to the Star League, the test half signature is seen as crucial to the credibility of both competitions. And the ARL is desperate to get him back. There's a lot of money being thrown around. There's a... Uh... Not that that's our only factor. I mean, I have to make sure that I'm happy in whatever uh, decision. Signed deals, taking money in good faith. And the drama was not... That certain people have signed and... I'm starting to be a little bit sick of it now. The truth became known at Manly Beach. Roberts and Matthew Ridge are committed to Manly's chase for league's holy grail, the Premiership, but they've also signed on to play Super League. After 10 years with the ARL, the decision did not come easy. The first meeting I was there, I was there for four hours, we went through everything. There was no talk of money, um, just talk of where they were taking the game, what they wanted from the game, and what they wanted from the players. Um, I come away highly impressed. Ridge has two and Roberts three years to run on their contract with Manly. And while Roberts agrees the money's outrageous, he would not reveal his asking price. The salary cap, though, played an important part. For the last five years I've been told you know, how much I'm worth and that's it. Um, you know, this is the first, time, you know, the first opportunity I've had to, uh, to say, well, look, here's what I think I'm worth, you know, like, uh, what about it? Robertson Ridge are the only Manly players who have signed on to play Super League, testing the relationship with Manly coach and ARL supporter Bob Fulton. The big prop is upset, Fulton revealed parts of the private conversation between the two. If you would like to think what's said inside those the room stays in those rooms. Uh, unfortunately, Bozo might have said something in the heat of the moment. Um, you know, I can't really comment on that. I'm you know, kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place there. <laughs> Thank you.